In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this uh, 3D wheel for the F1 racer. Uh, what's unique about the wheel is that um, it'll, it rotates on this shaft. It's made for printing out on a 3D printer. If you go to View, and then this uh, icon here, this section icon, half section, and I'm going to section on the XY plane. And if you uh, hit the check here, and if you notice you have a, a cross section on the uh, XY plane, and you can see that the part has been revolved and that the wheel is not actually touching the shaft. So when it's printed out, and uh, after the support material has been washed away, uh, the wheel will be able to rotate on the shaft. So we need to specify a particular clearance. I'm going to show you what that clearance should be. I'm going to start out by going to Projects and make sure there's a check next to your uh, F1 Racer folder. And I have mine in uh, Documents Inventor F1 Racer. Uh, make sure there's a check there and then say uh, Done. I'm going to start by creating a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to start out by uh, just drawing some lines uh, or the wheel itself. I'm going to start out here by grabbing the uh, origin. Dimensions aren't particular. I'm going to dimension them later in this general shape. turn on my uh, construction geometry and then I'm going to project the I'm going to come over here to the origin folder and I'm going to project my uh, x-axis because I'm going to dimension to it and uh, it, I cannot dimension to the axis itself but I can to dimension to a line uh, that has been projected from that axis so I'm going to turn off construction geometry. I'm going to, I'm going to draw in some dimensions. A dimension from here to here. At that point, one to five inches. From here to here. At that point, two, three, five inches. that point five nine inches dimension from here to here make that point five nine inches and here make that point two eight Now I'm going to draw the shaft and zoom in. Escape key to stop. Draw in some dimensions again. From there to there. At that point, three, nine, four. And you notice one thing that when I put in that dimension, this line over here moved. I'm going to uh, undo that 
and what I'm going to do is go ahead and lock that dimension in place. I don't want it moving. So I'm going to choose this tool here, the lock. I'm going to lock in this line. And now uh, I'm going to hit escape, and now when I edit this line, uh, you notice that this line here over moves the way I want it to move. Add another dimension here, uh, um, a dimension from here to here. Point zero two zero. This dimension from here to uh, here. Now, these are clearances. I'm going to rotate the part around this axis. So all these are clearances between the axle and the wheel. The 0.015, the 0.020, and the 0.025 are just clearances that I've come to, to expect that uh, the parts will not come glued together if I use these. So I'm going to... Uh, the lines shown in green have not been constrained. I'm going to go ahead and just add some dimensions in. This dimension here is not that critical. I'll just leave that at, I'm going to make that uh, point, uh, 0.06. I'm going to put a radius on here. My fillet tool. So usually I do this in 3D. In, in 3D mode I add my fillets, but I'm going to do them here in my um, uh, 2D mode. I'm going to make that uh, point 0.02. I'm going to point to this, these two lines, and that lets me add a fillet there. You notice. Now I'm going to put an arc here, just just as a decorative for decorative purposes. Purposes. I'm going to put a, a three-point arc. I'm going to put a, a point here, point here, and then I'm just going to kind of like that. And then I'm going to pick my trim tool and trim this line there and that line there. And that'll just give me a decorative feature on the center of the spoke. The only other thing I want to do is I want to add fillets over here. And you can do this in 3D mode, but I'm going to do it in, in uh, 2D mode. I'm going to make them uh, 0.08. Uh, now I'm done. I hit the check. I'm going to extrude, I'm going to rotate, revolve, I'm sorry, revolve, and I'm going to revolve uh, two profiles. I'm going to revolve this profile and the shaft, and it's going to be around the choose my axis, around the x-axis. See, I didn't choose this profile here. I'm going to choose that profile also and hit OK. And there's my part, the wheel. Uh, you, could add, you could change this decorative feature. You can make it whatever you want. But uh, once again, I'm going to show you like I started the, the uh, video. I'm going to do a, a section view to look at the part. I'm going to let's go to view, select this icon here, and pull it down half section view. And I'm going to section on my XY plane. I hit the check. And um, zoom around. And there you can see the part has ro been rotated. And there, there is the clearance uh, between the shaft and the wheel. I click here again to turn off the section. I'm going to save my part. 
I'm gonna call it Wheel 3D and hit save. Uh, you can turn section off by, by clicking on this again, and you're done. And you'll you'll attach this to the the race car.